What's up, guys? It's your girl, She's Priceless, and I'm back here with another video! <laughs> it's been a minute since I've made a video, like, actually sat down, made a video. After homecoming, during homecoming, I just got behind. I've been trying to do my work Wednesdays. I'm not even gonna lie. I haven't been trying to, like, I thought about doing my work Wednesdays, but... Life. 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 So, I'm gonna try to get back on that next week. Just trying to give you a little update on my life. Um, so I've been working two jobs. I work at Panera and I have work study with the football team. <laughs> two jobs and I take 15 credits. It's hard. It's really hard. But uh, this is how I'm paying for school. So far I had $13,655 to pay. And I have paid nine hundred ninety four dollars and fifty eight on the twenty third then I paid five hundred fifty on the twenty fifth and then I paid a hundred fifty on the twenty seventh and then my FAFSA is um, like the the loans I have which I'm eventually gonna have to pay back they paid one thousand seven hundred thirty two that was originally gonna be my refund check but since I haven't like it didn't enroll in a payment plan like I, I don't have to like it didn't it didn't go back to me like it wasn't a physical check it went right into my tuition which is better because like like all the money I make goes to my tuition anyway um so I'm going to talk about that a little bit so Howard they try to encourage you to go into this payment plan but I personally think it's a trap because you have to pay this certain amount of money a month and if you miss a payment they pay you they charge you a hundred dollar a hundred dollar late fee and you don't get penalized for not being in a payment plan you just won't be able to register for classes but here's how i was able to register for classes so i had a scholarship not the mcdonald's one not the one that played my life so i had a scholarship from a uh, howard alum frankie muse freeman she's from st louis it was part of the uh, Howard Alumni chapter. Um, you can Google her. She did amazing things. Um, she helped. She was a lawyer and a civil rights activist as well. Um, and she's 100 years old. Sis is just out here living, living a life. She is living it. <laughs> um, so I had a $4,000 scholarship from her. Like, thank the Jesus that I... I was actually able to get that so with that along with the payments that I made along with my GoFundMe um, I paid let's see how much of my money did I pay I basically used all my checks so and I paid about $700 and then my GoFundMe money I had about $830 I think I don't know GoFundMe takes out a 10% 10% uh, so I don't get all the money, which is why my GoFundMe was set to four thousand, fourteen thousand, instead of like the exact amount I needed, because they took out a percentage, and I was trying to account for that. Um. So right now my GoFundMe says I raised about five thousand something, which doesn't seem accurate. But I think what I did was I factored my Pell Grant and my loans into that so I don't know maybe I gotta do go back and change some of that because all I know is I have nine thousand six hundred ninety two dollars to pay back and my GoFundMe says I have about eight thousand something so something's a little off but I'll just oh lord move my camera but I'll just factor that in so how am I adjusting to working two jobs and going to school and a social life basically I gave up my social life I don't hang out with friends I don't go to parties I don't I don't do any of that 
Um, I did allow myself home from a week. I was like, this is going to be my best week ever. So I took off from work all that week. I did do my work study a couple days. But I basically allowed myself to live my best life during homecoming. I mean, I went to one party, but, you know, I don't drink or I don't smoke. So, like, music was lit. The events I went to was mad lit. Like, mad lit. Like, it was great. DJs were great. Everybody was having fun. First, you had people smoking and stuff, but like, I don't know. Personally, when I'm around people that like smoke, it like, I get headaches really bad. So, like, that's why I like don't be around it that much. But I basically let myself live during homecoming week, and I was like, because the next couple weeks are gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard adjusting and all that. So, I basically gave it my social life. I don't have, I mean, I know people, like, I have individual friends that I like see in passing. But I don't hey, have a group of friends that I like go around and hang out with. And it's like I I gotta realize what's important. Like my education is what's important to me right now. So that's that. So with my work study, it's like a set salary, so I can't go above five thousand thirty two dollars, I believe, and that's for the whole year. And I'm supposed to work twenty hours a week, but because I work for the football team and they don't really have me like clock in, sign in, sign out. I just have a set amount of days that I'm supposed to go, like time of time of the day. And I picked a really good work study because not only is it the football team. I'm just kidding. I don't even. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No. I picked a good work study because I don't really have to do much. Like, there's two other people I work with, and they really do a lot of the work. And then he'll, like, have, he's had me work on this project where, like, I, like, make itineraries. Um, I'm supposed to be doing, like, this Hall of Fame of, like, uh, donors that have been donating to the football team and stuff. Loki, I want to be like, hey, can you send me somebody, please? But, no, can't go out like that. Can't, gotta be ethical. Um, so, I've been doing that. I work with the football team. Um, sometimes he's, like, my supervisor is really cool, like, I be talking, he's really chill, um, he let me go to practice the other day, that was interesting, um, you know, football players are football players, football players are wild, um, still love you best friend, my best friend's on the football team, but, <laughs> y'all wild, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna say that, like, the things that they were saying to me on the side, I was like, are you serious, like, we really going out, like, that's what we doing now? Um, but yeah, other than that, my work study is pretty chill, so it's not stressful at all. And most of the times I go there, he'll be like, oh. Wait, I don't have anything for you to do today. You can go on. I'm like. Now, Panera. That's a whole other story. Panera has been working me like a little dog. They've been having me on the closing shifts. Because uh, originally I was supposed to work three days out of the week. This week, they had me work Tuesday from like 11 to 5, 11 to 3. Then they had me close, close from like 6 to 1.30 a.m. Then Thursday, no, Thursday, 6 to 1.30. Friday, 8 to, 8 to 1. I'm closing today and I'm closing Sunday. Now, the only thing about closing, it's really tedious, it's tiring, like, I would rather just work during the day, I'd rather, like, work, like, midday, maybe, like, four hours a day or something like that, but these hours are ridiculous because they're understaffed, but I got some of my friends to apply, and, like, they're supposed to be getting hired soon, so, hopefully, like, my hours will be better, but, like, it's just been draining, like, I've been tired, I'm trying to manage school and that, like, right now my grades are looking good, like, if I calculated it right, I should have a 3.8. If I get this B plus to an A, I will have 4.0 and that would be Gucci. But, yeah, I called my mom, she's, like, upset, so she's called my manager, she left a message, so I'll probably be hearing about that at work, um, cause she does, she was like, you can't close, like, you can't be doing this, like, you're 18, and it's just a lot but I have tuition to pay that's just the reality I have tuition to pay and I've had to sacrifice my social life I've had to sacrifice a lot but like you hustle for what you like you hustle for what you want you hustle for what you want and that's what I'm doing I don't <laughs> name another freshman working harder than me 
I'll wait. Two jobs, taking 15 credits, paying our own tuition, paying our own phone bill. Like, <laughs> I'm basically an adult. <laughs> basically. I don't depend on anyone. Like, I'm just doing my thing. And, like, I, of course I do have my donations just because, like, to help try to make things easier. And, like, I've gotten some really generous donations. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I've gotten some really generous donations. And I'm so grateful for that. But, like, I can't get paid for school off donations. So, I gotta work. Hopefully, my family will understand that. Um, because I just, I just have to be here, like, once I, like, hopefully after this year I'll get scholarships because I can't be working like this all the time and like being at Panera has definitely humbled me because there I work with like 30 year old people and like some teens some people that are in school like all different types of people some people that like Panera is actually their careers and I don't want Panera to be my career like I don't get me wrong it's it's cool and it's chill I probably enjoy it more if like I got the hours I wanted but it's not like I don't want this to be a career like, I don't want to work in a fast food restaurant for the rest of my life like I have too much talent too much ability to do that so that's just me um but yeah that's how I've been paying for school Howard is expensive y'all if you're thinking about going to Howard please please get your money right please apply for scholarships locally um I would say apply for scholarships locally because when you apply for national scholarships you're competing with thousands and millions of kids it's just hard um make sure you have your method of payment out now or unless you want to work as hard as me and don't get me wrong like i was never a person that needed to be like out there party scene and stuff like that because just like i just don't the party life isn't for me like i like dancing i like food honestly i miss like <laughs> the little kid parties where you just have music and food like that's all i need to have a good time and a couple of people like i'm used to just having kicking it with like one or two people listening to music just chilling like I don't I never needed like a click and I don't know I feel like a lot of people like walk around here in clicks and I mean don't get me wrong because those are people that are going to be at your wedding and like it'd be nice to have like a little group of friends to be like these are my girls but like I feel like I've met a lot of dope people individually and like I've made bonds with people individually and it'd be nice to have like some people to be like depend on every day but like most of the time if I'm not at work I'm sleeping catching up on some catching some Z's because you know I be at work all the time I be tired I go to school try to do homework you know how it is but yeah so that's just a little update on my life um what I'm doing how I'm paying for school um I have a couple more videos coming about my little mental detox that I've been doing. Um, I gotta finish posting my Howard um, homecoming videos. Yeah. Because I went to all the events, like I paid for it, so. Duh. Um, I'm really working on burdening myself and like just evolving. Just figuring out who I am and how I'm gonna do this college thing because it's hard. It's really hard. Like, when, I, when YouTubers were on here before saying like, they had like three jobs and were doing all this stuff for college and now they're successful now. I didn't realize that was going to be my story, but it is. I want to be really successful, so. Mark this day. Like, give me five years. I'm going to be iconic. What's today? 28th. On October 28th, 2017, Elise declared that she will be iconic. I will be iconic. <laughs> um so yeah that's all I have for now um just taking care of myself doing all that good stuff so yeah peace out it's being good she's priceless and I love you all mm -hmm.